player and you played a lot of games. How easy is it as a player to flush a game like that and be able to move on? That's kind of what everybody says, but how do you mentally do that and then work ahead to the next week? Yeah, they got to cut on film for the next team, uh, learn from your mistakes, and just um, look forward. That's the, only, that's the only way you can flush it, and then you just got to, you know, Keep you know, keep looking forward. You know, the only thing we can do from the past is just learn from it and just learn how to how to make those mis- not make those same mistakes in the upcoming game. Is it easier to do that as a veteran than maybe as a young guy? Oh yeah, it, it is. Um, throughout the course of my career, I've learned that losses is part of the game. You just gotta um, take it to the chin, and then uh, those emotions inflicted on the next team. You talked a lot after the game about the, kind of the schematic things that you guys took from that game. How about just character-wise, when, when things don't go your, your way that extremely, what do you learn about your teammates, about the team, the character of this group? Oh, we all tough. Uh, Duval, Duval put us through a lot of um, tough um, workouts this, this summer. Um, and just being able to see them push through everything, you know, it's phenomenal. I think it's going to be huge for us this upcoming uh, week just to, uh, you know, keep that same mindset and to keep being tough and just being able to um, give this next team 60 minutes of hard-nosed football. Is it easier to move on after a lopsided game or is it easier to move on after a tight game that didn't go your way? Um, a loss is a loss. It don't matter, you know, how big or how, how small. Um, yeah, it, it's all the same to me. Is there anything different that Ohio State did to have as much success on the ground? Um, just execute it. And that's one thing that Northwestern does a good job of. I watched the game this past weekend, uh, and they did a pretty good job of executing against um, – the Northwestern did a good job of executing against the Wisconsin defense. And if we want to be able to stop the run, if you want to be able to uh, just stop them on all three phases of the game, we just have to be able to execute a lot better. When you, you know you're facing a team that kind of struggles to throw the ball the way that Northwestern does, the run elevates a little bit this week even more than normal? Um, well, we expect to. Uh, like I said, they're a disciplined team. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna try us, try us, and on you know through the air and on the field. We just got to be able to uh, react to it and and be able to just um, out execute the out execute their scheme. And what was the reaction among the guys when Keaton got on the field for the first time? Oh, that's that's, that's the brother. Uh, he he's worked so hard from when he first got here. Um, and just seeing how, how much he's developed and just seeing how much that he's uh, bought into the culture, seeing him actually getting out there on the field and being able to um, showcase, you know, what, what he's been up to. I, it was huge for everybody. Everybody was excited to see him uh, get out on the field and it was eager for him to get his feet wet. Can you put in perspective how hard that is when, when you show up maybe in the middle of camp and how, how you have to catch up oh, and what, what that takes? Man, it's difficult, man. Metabolic lifts on Monday, that, that's tough just conditioning that stuff as well. And uh, for him to miss out on all the games that we had, he was he was really behind. So it was just him for the, it was it was tough for him to uh, really just play catch up. And especially he's not he's not a freshman. He doesn't have the benefit of, of being a freshman. So um, we expect a lot more from him. So we kind of pushed him harder than, you know, most because, you know, he's, he's an older guy and he took it and he, he took everything in. And I feel like he adapted pretty well.